Understanding the Harmonized System HS, Codes for Alcohol Imports Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to deep dive into the topic of understanding the Harmonized System HS, Codes for Alcohol Imports. If you're involved in the customs brokerage industry or if you're an importer looking to import alcohol, this video is for you. So, let's jump right in. One of the essential aspects of customs brokerage is understanding and properly using HS codes. HS codes are a standardized system used worldwide to classify goods for customs purposes. These codes provide detailed information about the product being imported, such as its composition, ingredients, and function. For alcohol imports, HS codes are particularly crucial as they help customs authorities classify and regulate these products correctly. When it comes to alcohol imports, there are specific HS codes that you need to familiarize yourself with. Let's take a look at some of the key ones. HS Code 2203 this code covers all types of alcoholic beverages, including beer, wine, and spirits. It is the general classification for alcoholic products. HS Code 2204. This code specifically pertains to wine imports. It further breaks down wine classifications based on factors such as alcohol content and carbonation. HS Code 2205 spirits and liqueurs fall under this code. It includes products like whiskey, vodka, rum, and tequila. HS Code 2206, beer imports are classified under this code. It differentiates between non-alcoholic and alcoholic beer. In addition to HS codes, Importers of alcohol must also comply with the Importer Security Filing ISF, requirements. ISF is a crucial security measure implemented by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, to enhance supply chain security. As an importer, you are required to submit an ISF filing at least 24 hours before the vessel departs from the foreign port. The ISF filing should include information such as the shipper's name and address, consignee's name and address, and a detailed description of the goods, including the HS codes. <music> Compliance with ISF requirements is crucial, as failure to file or inaccuracies in the filing can lead to penalties and delays in customs clearance. Another important aspect to consider when importing alcohol is obtaining a customs bond. A customs bond serves as a guarantee to the CBP that you will fulfill your obligations as an importer. A customs bond is required for shipments valued over $2,500 or if the alcohol falls under the purview of specific government agencies, such as the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau TTB. The bond ensures that customs duties, taxes, and fees will be paid, and all necessary customs procedures will be followed. Importers can choose between a single entry bond, for one-time shipments, or a continuous bond, for frequent importers. Given the complexities and regulations surrounding alcohol imports, it is highly recommended to work with a customs broker who specializes in this area. Customs brokers are licensed professionals who have in-depth knowledge of the customs regulations and requirements. They can assist you with proper HS code classification, ISF filing, customs bond acquisition, duty calculations, and ensure compliance with all relevant regulations. By partnering with a customs broker, you can save time, reduce risks, and ensure a smooth import process for your alcohol shipments. And that wraps up our video on understanding HS codes for alcohol imports. We hope you found this information helpful and insightful. Remember, HS codes, ISF requirements, and customs bonds are all crucial elements to consider when importing alcohol. 
partnering with a knowledgeable customs broker can greatly simplify the process and ensure compliance with all necessary regulations. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Disclaimer note below. Until next time.